In this part of the Praxis exam, we will investigate common algorithms and estimation. You might remember that there are some mathematical rules called the order of operations that will inform us which order we're going to do operations that include addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, as well as parentheses and exponents. Therefore, one of the rules that you might remember is called PEMDAS, which tells us that we're going to do parentheses and exponents followed by multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Therefore, if we want to find the value of the expression 2 minus 7 plus 6 divided by 3 times the quantity 5 minus 2 all squared, we would do the order of operations. The first thing we would evaluate is our parentheses. Recognizing that we have 5 minus 2 in parentheses, which gives us 3. Next, we would evaluate our exponents. Therefore, we would take 3 squared, or 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, we're going to perform all multiplication and division from left to right. Multiplication and division have the same order, so as we go across, we just look for when the first occurrence of either. So, we run into division first, doing 6 divided by 3, giving us 2. Finally, we take 2 times 9, because we're still doing multiplication and division, to take us to 18. Finally, we're going to perform addition and subtraction going from left to right. So whatever operation we run into first, we run into subtraction. Therefore, we take 2 minus 7, which gives us a negative 5, and negative 5 plus 18 is equal to 13. You might remember also... Rules to add and subtract rational numbers are fractions. To add or subtract fractions, we must find that common denominator. To add 5 eighths plus 3 fourths, we would recognize that we've taken the whole, split it into 8 equal sized pieces, and we have 5 of those pieces. Likewise, adding that to 3 fourths of the whole. In order to find this, we would need to find equal sized pieces of the whole or a common denominator. We know our common denominator between 8 and 4 is 8. Therefore, we would multiply numerator and denominator of 3 fourths by 2. And we would get the equivalent fraction 6 eighths. We can see that in our picture that if we took our original 5 eighths and added it to 1 fourth, we want to know what is our sum. Now we would take 1 fourth and rewrite it or express it as 6 eighths. Therefore, we can count how many eighths we have, which would give us 11 eighths. Or 5 eighths plus 6 eighths is 5 parts plus 6 parts, which would give us 11 parts out of 8. To add or subtract rational numbers as decimals, we're going to align the place values, which we, means we just align the decimals. Therefore, if we want to add 32 and 7 hundredths and subtract 4 and 296 thousandths, we would align our decimal. Then we would do our standard algorithm for subtraction subtracting our thousandths place value, our hundredths, our tenths, our one, and finally our tenths. To multiply rational numbers, we might remember the standard algorithm that says we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Therefore, if I want to multiply 3 fourths times 1 half, I multiply my numerators 3 times 1 and multiply my denominators as 4 times 3, which gives me 3 twelfths, and then I can simplify into 1 fourth. Another way I could do this is I could use benchmark fractions to estimate. I know that if I want to find the product of 11 21s times 31 1 20ths, I know 11 21s, that's about half, because 11 over 22 is half. 31 1 20ths is about 30 over 1 20th or 1 4th. Therefore, we can come up with an estimate to 11 over 21 times 31 divided by 120 as 1 half times 1 4th, which gives us one eighth.